with Stephanie Gonzalez now. Stephanie, a senior, your final meet, your final night, kind of maybe the perfect storm going out as an NSIC champion. Just talk about just the feeling of going out conference champions. Oh, word. Okay. Um, I mean, it's a great feeling to go out as a champion. You know, like you said, it was my last year. And if you had told me my freshman year that this would be happening, I, I wouldn't believe you. It, I mean, this was like a dream. We worked so hard this year. And Daniel did such a great job, you know, pushing us and giving us all of our speeches. And Clayton Boyd did a great job giving us all of our warrior speeches. So, I mean, it's just a great feeling, that last cheer that we went out. And that last moment when we heard, you know, Henderson was second, and we were like, Oh my gosh, we were already jumping for joy because we just knew that we finally, we pushed it out and we won. Talk about that, just that experience going through. Obviously, you're through the coaching change. You're, you've seen this team grow the last couple of years. Just talk about being a part of that growth and being part of what, what really has been classified as the swimming family now. Okay, well, yes, freshman year I did have a different coach, uh, Brian Hine, and whenever he left, we didn't know for months who our coach was going to be. We found out in August, about two weeks before school started, we were all freaking out, like, who's the coach, who's the coach, what are we going to do? But I actually knew Daniel because I'm a Mississippi swimmer. So when they announced him, I was like, okay, I know him, and I know what he's about. You know, I had all these ideas in my mind. I was like, at least I knew him. Other people, you know, they didn't really know him. So it was kind of nerve-wracking, especially freshmen. They had, I mean, it didn't bother them that much because they didn't have any of the old coaches. So... I mean, it was a big change. We had some people leave, some people come in, people leave, come in. But finally, as you can see, we we did make a family, and we're an amazing team. Very Again, team. <laughs> congratulations on an NSIC Thank championship you. and a great four-year career. Thank you. Piper Marshburn now. Piper, a senior. This is being your final meet. Uh, talk about just the emotions going through it and, and, and coming out, going out on top as a conference champion. <laughs> it's just crazy. Like, I've never imagined we'd get this, especially beginning first couple of years with Daniel changing. I never thought it was going to lead to this. And it's just been the most incredible feeling. And to be leaving this pool as a conference champion is just the highlight of my swimming career. So you talk about that career you go through as a freshman coming through swimming. Your brother was here for a while, so you've had that Delta State tie. What does it mean to you to, to finally get a championship? It's been 11 years for the women to be able to get one. And what does it mean to just to be able to do that, knowing for all the alumni that were here this week and, and that have been around and supported you, that some of which you've swam with, some of which we've been supporting even and were swimming before you got here? It was just great because... Everyone was giving us so much support that we felt so loved and everything that there was no way we couldn't do this. We were just so overwhelmed by it. It was just great. We wanted to do this for them and for all their dedication, not just ours, too. With Laura Nichols now, Laura, a very good night for Delta State swimming, a conference championship, something that, that's been worked in the balance for over a decade now. Just talk about being on a team that overcame a lot of adversity this year and then in the finals was able to hang on and, and do what they needed to do today and not only win by a couple points but actually extend the margin at the end of the night. Well we've been we've been talking about it since the beginning of the year. We knew after last year when we were so close with only 13 girls just the minimum we knew that this year was going to be the year for us as long as we worked hard. So all year we've been talking do you want to win conference? You better work hard right now so we can win conference. Don't give up. And just going through the whole year with um, like Heidi having surgery and girls being out sick and on their deathbeds, I guess. Um, just pushing everybody to get back in the water and do the best they can to come back. It was amazing. Looking through the meet, uh, led all the way through from wire to wire. But what was it like just with the girls, a very young team? Was there any points where you were just trying to make sure everybody was calm while keeping yourself calm, not to get to get too over anxious and, and then mess up in your races, to just make sure that everybody stayed focused and relaxed and do what they could do? There were, there were quite a few times when we would look at the freshmen and be like, one, are they taking this seriously? Two, are they okay? Like, are they going to do well in the races? Or We just didn't want anyone to feel the pressure solely on themselves because it's, it's definitely a team effort. If one person does bad, someone else can do well and make up for it. One person isn't going to ruin the whole meet for us. We just had to make sure that everyone knew that their one race was going to make a difference, but it wasn't 
it wasn't make or break. Well, again, congratulations on an NSISC championship. You'll be able to go celebrate with your family. Thank you. With Heidi Nichols now after a conference championship, and for you, also named High Point Award Athlete, congratulations on Thank that. Thank you. Talk about just the meet in general. You get two wins, and I, obviously one loss to your sister, but talk about just racing in that competition and the end result and being able to be conference champions. It was all just really exciting, and you know, having Laura there in all three of my races really pushed me and you know, just training with her and then having her next to me in a race is really what pushes me and fires me up and gets me going. And then having the team there at the end of your lane screaming their hearts out for you really gets you going too. What was it like coming down, obviously coming into the day, uh, a small lead and that lead kind of dwindled a little bit, but then after your race, maybe set it up to the point where you knew you were close. What was it like after that race, knowing you're just kind of sitting there watching the, the last couple of races, knowing that that conference championship was in the balance? It was really nerve wracking. I almost broke out into tears a couple of times just because I was so scared that, you know, I knew it was right there and that we were so close and everyone just had to race their hearts out in order to, for us to win it. And they did, so. Well, again, congratulations on High Point Athlete and all NSISC and, of course, the NSISC Championship. Thank you. Thank you.